and welcome to C++ tutorial of point of sale system and let me show you guys how this works we can always reset and enter new customers details as you can see the system is recording every single data in there and let's assume we don't want the fish in there so all we then need to do is remove that fish burger and you can see the price has gone down and I'm going to take off pink rose pink as well there and so far the total cost is 34 pounds plus so we want to pay by cash if we want to pay by cash we might as well select let's say we enter 41 pounds click on total there we go and let's say we want to save this click on save and I'm gonna just call it daily meal and save that there we go it's saved I believe it's saved on the desktop so let's clear and open up what we just saved let's look for daily meal there we go open up the daily mail again that is it right there okay. now you see how the total works how remove works, save work, clear work and exit I'll be with you guys shortly with a full tutorial hi guys and welcome to C++ tutorial of a point of sale system so I'm gonna start by going to file and let's select new let's click on window VCL application there we go so make sure the application is selected scroll right down change the width to 1390 i'm going to change the height to 760 right here 760 and the font right here i'm going to change that font font to point of sale that should be caption here somewhere there let's change that to Point of sales. There we go. You guys should be able to see that. So the next thing is I'm gonna come right here. Let's tell a T panel. Grab a panel, drop it there. And this very panel, I'm gonna change the following of the panel. You see where we have bevel. Bevel kind. Okay, let's go for the bevel kind. I'm going to make that tiles. Yep. And one other thing, let's see if there's any other thing that can be changed. Then uh, the bevel width. Let's make that about four right there. Okay, that's good enough tile and it's four. That is good. Alright, so I'm gonna copy this very one. Control C copy and Control V to paste. Control C copy and paste again. Scroll right down. Let's bring it down. Something like that. And let's paste it again because we need a couple down here. Let's see. And just copy Control C Control. V paste, bring that down here. All right, just drag it along. And I'm gonna copy that very one. Paste it on the form and reduce the size of that. And cut it off. Cut, control, V and paste it right in here. Okay, now it's inside this very form. A very panel okay that's fine okay that's good now we'll come here and paste another one right in here control V paste all right that's fine let's come out here and just paste one right out here bring that down Let's see, I think we may have enough room. Yep. 
and drag this down as well now we're going to take this up a little bit okay I'm going to run it now let's click on run coming up there we go that is my farm that's how it's looking now all right so okay I think this is all right like this yeah it's fine now select the form itself and let's come straight to alignment of the form you see where we have a line I'm gonna pick that right at the top so that should take care of that now in here I'm gonna need some buttons there but before that let me select every single one of these select these three and let's come right here we have something to do with align vertical I'm gonna make that top now scroll right up you see where we have alignment I'm gonna make that to the left left justify and scroll right down and here you see the font I'm gonna change the font to something readable let's make that about bold 20 there we go now select the very first one move this up select the very first one here and change the data on needs to POS number point of sales number Okay, and this one is going to be items items and price sent up on sign there yeah? bring it back a little bit there and the last one I'm going to enter point of sales in there. Point of sales, and towards the end, I'm going to enter point of sale select or something like that. So just enter item selector. Okay, so I'm going to scroll towards the end. Items, let's say items select all. Alright, that's fine. Now, come back in here is the palette and let's select C image. There we go. Grab that image and just drop it right there. There we go see that very image I'm gonna need a couple of those let's collapse this for now I think that might do let's say we copy that control C and C paste we have two yeah I think that would do paste again we have three okay that is fine All right, now select the very first image. And maybe if just select all of the image instead of the very first one, copy, control C, and paste. We have, okay, let's select all of these again. Copy and let's paste it here. There. Okay, that's four, one, two, three. Select those and paste them right here okay so that would do all right that is fine now the next thing i'm going to do is let's come right down here you see where we have this very one oh let's do one thing here you see this one let's add a list box to that grab that and just draw a list box in here bring it down there we go we have a 
list box so that's sorted now in here I'm going to add some buttons so let's go for T buttons that's the first one so I'm going to need a couple more copy that and paste okay let's paste one more and see okay we seem to have enough room so select it all three across and four down okay now copy paste all right now select it all control C and paste bring it down right there okay that will do now this very first button let's change the details of that come in here go to object inspector let's pin it down and change the caption of that very first one once the caption of that very first one is changed, you can just repeat the same thing for the rest. So enter seven there. Let's click on the next one. Eight, nine, six, five, four, one, two, three. And here we have zero. We have decimal here. And there we have a C. There, that is it taken care of now each of those buttons I'm gonna come in here you see where we have the name I'm gonna give them variable names so that's gonna be BTN let's call that Claire the next one is going to be BTN dot BTN zero btn1 and so on one we have two we have three btn6 five we have four Seven, eight. We have nine, so they all have a name now. Looking good. There we go. All right, that's cool. Let's bring this down now. And this very one here, we need to change the data in there. So get rid of all of the text we have in there, and even this one, get rid of the text get rid of this one as well with delete oh now we need to change it it's there get rid of that now get rid of this one is the caption that's what we meant to, to, to select so come right here Make sure the caption is selected as well. Delete that. Okay, here. I'm gonna come now. Come in here. Let's add a label. Enter a label here. Increase the font of that label to 20. Make that bold. There we go. And that is going to be known as subtotal. Copy that, paste, and the next one that will be known as total. And there. So this can be total. This is subtotal and this can be tax right I'm going to copy these three again copy and I'm going to paste them right here 
paste. Okay, that's fine. Okay, and we then need text box. Come right here. I think it's called T edit. T edit, paste that here. Change that to 20. Font 20. Twenty bold. And just copy it across. Control C Control V to paste. Control V paste again. Right, that is fine. Select just to copy and paste that right here. There. And here I'm gonna change this to cost. Uh, that will be cost and this is change, okay? So come right down here. Up here actually. Cost. And this is pay method. And here that is going to be changed. This text box here will be known as edit change. And this is going to be known as edit cost. Now this is going to be known as edit total. And this one will be known as subtotal. Edit subtotal. And here that's going to be known as edit tax. Very good. Scroll right here. This other one. Let's add buttons. So PT button. Grab that and draw it right in here. We have one. Let's change the font size of that very button something readable as well and that is going to be let's make that 20 22 okay that's fine 22 and now we'll copy and paste you don't need about six of those copy paste we have enough room no we don't I don't think we have enough room for the last one. So I'm going to have to reduce this. Let's see. Okay, now copy. We should have enough room now. Yep, yeah. and paste again. So we have six. All right, that is fine. Okay, let's give them a name. So this very first one that is going to be known as let's look for the variable name btn um, remove remove item. Okay. Uh, the variable name so come right up here and change the caption to remove there we go this is pay well, we can just call that total total and the variable name is going to be btn total This one is going to be known as save, BT and save. Go right up here, caption is called save. This one is called open. Variable name BT and open. Here we have reset BTN 
reset. And up here, that's going to be known as reset. And finally, that's going to be known as exit. Variable name is exit. BT and exit. There we go. Okay, before we start adding those images, let's do one thing. You see right here, let me add the... Let's add a combo box here. So let's say C combo right there. Okay, we have a combo box. Change the size of that to about 20 as well. 20 bold. There we go. Alright, so for the combo box, I'm going to change the variable name to CMB payment oh yeah that's fine payment okay that's that taken care of now for the images and let me show you guys the images I intend to use I think it's right here you can use whatever kind of image you want that's the one I intend to use so make sure it's the image box is selected and I'm going to scroll right down one of this property that is got is uh, picture so click on the picture property and let's locate the image um, I think it's gonna be inside here somewhere and that is it right there those are the images I intend to use so let's change it to large so that I can see what I'm doing there we go all right, those are the images. Let's see. I'm gonna set to for fish burger. So click on that, and then click on OK. We have fish burger there, although we can't see the burger properly. I don't like that. I need to be able to see it. I may have to just do something about that. I'll still keep the feed burger and just enhance the image and come back to it. Alright. Okay, select the next one and come right here. And I'm going to select the Nigerian meat pie. There we go. Yeah, Nigerian meat pie is working. Now let's select another one. Um, there's one I call Oshodi fries. Yeah, that's it. Or well, we can just name it Lagos fries. And here, well, let's complete one side. Then I can then speed it up. And this is going to be known as. Let's pick on whatever there. I'm going to select okay chicken nuggets now this one let's see meatballs yeah click on ok and come right down here select one more and now we then speed it up I guess you guys get the whole idea so let's get some crazy coffee click on ok so I'm gonna speed that up now crazy coffee I need to change that I don't like how that looks let's change that as well change it to something as I can be seen non-alcohol okay all right non-alcohol we still can't see the text content all right, I'm going to speed that up and get back to you guys shortly. Okay, I'll finish up with the images. All right, so let's do one or two things there now. So I'm going to come in here. You see the combo box? You just click on the properties of the combo box. This is where we have items. So I'm going to add an item to that. So the first one is going to be cash. And followed by 
director David. I'm going to go for Visa card. Finally, I'm going to enter MasterCard. There we go. Click on OK. Now, the one right below it, I'm just going to change that to 0 and change this to 0 as well. There. And I might as well just align it all to the right. Let's come to the, we should be able to align the text to the right. Let's see if we can do that. I don't want it centered. No, I don't want that. Undo that. So I'm just going to go back in there, select it and come in here, select none. And I'll repeat the same thing for this one as well. Where is it none? Okay, that's fine. That brings it back the way it was okay so let's change the the data in here as well i'm just going to come straight to the text enter enter zero in there select it all to enter that zero let's go straight to text there we go all right that is fine so i'm going to run it now let's see we should be able to justify this one to the right okay and this one as well that should be I should be able to justify it to the right as well all right and then what is the property of that combo box I don't know I'm gonna leave that until I'm able to find the property of that one the alignment property okay let's run it and see how that looks like This is how it's all looking now. Nothing is happening. You see these buttons, I can take care of those. So let's come right here. I'm going to select every single one of those buttons. Let's select it all. And let's take care of those. So come into events right here. Drop it down. And let's select on click. Change that to number click. Number click press enter right now I'm going to create an object and this is how you create an object in um, C++ builder T button then add a pointer and I'm going to give the name BT and equals open a bracket and let's say it's going to be T button and it's going to be pointing to a sender close that I've just created my object and the object is called BTN so this very object I want it to be able to address this let's come right here what is the name of this guy here I believe it's called edit text okay back in my codes double click on one of these yeah back inside the code I'm gonna come in here now enter coily braces and in there I'm gonna say edit cost Point to text and that is going to be btn text no btn should be a caption it is a caption not a text there now come out of hate and let's say else enter query braces edit cost is going to be equals to edit cost plus btn caption and that should officially take care of the yeah that should take care of the number buttons oh let's save it we need to save it so i'm going to just give it a name i'm going to call it point of sales and I'll save it inside the folder that I created for it click on save All right so I guess I saved let's run it and see click on run and that is it we have one error let's see where is that error else okay you see right here that was supposed to be equals equals in here I should have an if statement here 
That's an error. That should have been if this button, the text box actually is not a button. Equals equals if it's equals equals zero because I do have a zero in there. There, I thought I entered that. That was a, that was a silly mistake. All right, sorry about that, guys. Now let's save that again and then run it. I think that that's it. I was supposed to use that. Okay, now you see that, guys. So let's take care of one two so exit out okay let's go back in here and double click on the dots here just double click on that and in there I'm just gonna say if let's say not edit cost point text dot p o s if you just for you guys if you want to know the p o x actually means uh, in delphin or in uh, rad studio the p o s method return the index in the index of the force occurrence okay just return the index of the very first occurrence so return the very first index and close that then I'm going to enter curly braces in there and let's grab all of this paste that in there and that will be equals that plus dot there and that should officially take care of my dots so let's i think there should be another one bracket in there so that takes care of the decimal place now the next thing i want to do is to take care of the clear the clear function come right here double click on c i'm just going to kind of like paste that in there i've already copied it and just enter clear but there's a value in there, there's a zero value in there, so enter zero. And that take care of that takes care of that. Okay, so have a good look at the lines of code for the buttons. We have used events to group all the buttons, the the decimal and the clear. So save that and run. Let's see. Make sure it works. Alright. Enter decimal. And let's see if it's going to accept another decimal. No, it's not accepting that. Clear? That is fine. Okay, guys, that's working fine. So with that, I'm going to call it the end of the first part of this tutorial. And I'll see you guys shortly.